The reading is taken from Genesis chapter 15. The word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. But Abraham said, O Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue childless, and the heir of my house is Eleazar of Damascus. And Abraham said, You have given me no offspring, and so a slave born in my house is to be my heir. But the word of the Lord came to him, This man shall not be your heir. No one but your very own issue shall be your heir. He brought him outside and said, Look towards heaven and count the stars, if you are able to count them. Then he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed the Lord, and the Lord reckoned it to him as righteousness. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. If you used to sing that at Sunday school, you would doubtless be humming it for the rest of tomorrow. It has a very catchy tune, even though the words are a little trivial, to say the least. Father Abraham had two sons, one of whom had twelve of his own, and through that line the Jewish people traced their ancestry. The promise that he would be the father of many nations is given to Abraham in that Old Testament reading. And in the New Testament, Paul underlines his thesis that it was Abraham's willingness to take God at his word that saved him. In the same way, he says, if we believe as Abraham did, we will be saved as he was. We will become his children by faith. So Abraham became the father not just of one nation by bloodline, but of a multitude of nations by faith. We trace our Abrahamic descent not through Isaac, but through Jesus. We are the inheritors of a new covenant based not on flesh and blood, but on faith. As we trust in the God who can do the impossible, it is reckoned to us as righteousness, just as it was for Abraham. We are his children by faith, you, me, and countless people throughout the world. So, let's all praise the Lord. Let's pray. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit and Jesus, the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesus, my King, O Jesus, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O God of life, this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God of life, this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God of life, this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight. 
O God of life, this night. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.